Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new style of mask that we're gonna be trying out. So stay tuned, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on my new YouTube channel. The link will be right after, well actually the link is down below and it would also appear at the end of the video. So if you guys wanna follow me on my vlog, just, just subscribe, help a girl out here. So let's get started with this video. Now this product, I actually ended up buying two of them which are, they're completely different. But today we're gonna try out this one right over here. This one is from Shea Moisturizer. It's a beauty hack. It's for your face, your body, and your hair. It's a three-in-one product. Who does not like a three-in-one product? This one is the Aztec Benote Beno Benonite, Benonite, Benotite Clay. This is a prep. This is a base of your preparation of the items. Back here they give you a lot of information of how to use the products, the benefit of it. But today we're going to be using the face and not the hair. So the facial does require a few things such as one, water, two, oil, three, fragrance, and a mixing bowl. So I have right here, right here, and uh, my water in a bowl, which I don't want to pick up because I don't want to drop. And then I have these pure argan oil from one and only that I may use for this project. This DIY mask. So let's open this baby up. This is actually my first time trying this. Now I've actually tried several other products before, just not this. So I'm pretty soaked. I'm pretty soaked. All right, now let's open this up. Now, Benno Clay, I'm gonna call you Benno, okay? Now, Benno Clay is good for your skin. If you have large pores, if you have blackheads, if you want to remove some of the scars that you have now your girl actually doesn't have that bad of a skin right now going on but i do have a lot of acne scarring and i do have my pores are really open so this would be good for my pores and then my little white heads that i have here but so far i haven't been breaking out which is like a plus for me so let's open this baby up Ooh, all right all right and the cool thing about this is that it's literally the only ingredient right over here Let's you know right here. It is the Benonite clay. That's the ingredient and the only ingredient in here. So we love single ingredients. Ugh. I'm gonna grab my tablespoon. So it does require a tablespoon of clay, half a tablespoon of oil, and one and a half tablespoon of water. We will use the half a table, the full tablespoon of clay. Ugh. Doesn't look that much. So we're gonna be using a full tablespoon of clay. Voila, that is a full tablespoon of clay. I'm gonna have it on my mixing bowl. Apply that there. That actually looks like a lot. Just like that, we're gonna throw that in there. All right, and we're gonna mix it. All right, now once you have mixed completely your items, your brush should be looking like a hot mess. Literally a hot mess. We're gonna apply this on our face. And um, let's see how this goes. Wow, this is not sticking. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try my fingers. This feels like, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. It literally feels like clay. But why does it feel like that on the skin? Ah, I don't like it. It's everywhere. Alright, All right, so I have tried my best to apply this product on. It is not the best thing in the world to do it's very very messy i don't even know if i'm doing it right it's actually a little bit frustrating but let's see if it does anything to it literally it became like a hot mess like put this because we have white heads there and let's go wash our hands and i'll be back in 15 minutes and then we'll see what happens if it hardened what's going on so far it is getting hardened to like certain places oh like, there's some places where it's already hard. But, I mean, it's just, like, the weirdest feeling ever. I'm not a big fan. But, we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna go wash my hands because it's a big mess. Clean out. 
clean here and we'll be right back Alrighty, now so we are back it has been officially 20 minutes since i've had this and literally i can feel this super drying up on my skin there's a lot of parts that are still really really wet but let's go wash this off let's see what's up literally like parts are falling out like they're just like peeling off like nothing so we're gonna go wash this off with cold water most likely because again warm water is gonna reopen up our pores and we don't want to open them up we're gonna have them seal right now oh as i'm talking there's like some coming out but let's go wash we'll be back Alrighty, baby, so we are back after taking about a five minute, literally five minutes to wash the, the the mud, the clay off of my face. I mean, my skin does feel really tight. It feels nice and smooth around my nose area. My skin does also feel very, very, very dry, which is not a good thing because, I mean, it is kind of still winter time. So this is a time where my skin gets dry the most. So... I am gonna apply for a moisturizer right now, but I mean, it gives you like, it feels really, really nice on your skin, but, 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 it is such a big mess to do. So if you guys are planning to do this mask, definitely do it in the shower so you don't waste a lot of water, but immediately, as soon as you guys are done, moisturize because right now my skin is like water. So I'm just grabbing some Derma E and this is a vitamin C to apply on my skin right now because it needs some moisturizer. Let's keep in mind that this clay ingredient, the betonite, 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 basically it takes off your impurities, it minimizes your pores, it removes scarring. So using this about twice a week will be actually really good, but if you have dry skin like myself currently, use it once a week. Start after that using it twice a week. I'm gonna be trying to use it twice a week Although it is a mess, I'm definitely going to be using this twice a week. So we'll see if anything actually happens. Like literally right now, my skin just feels really freaking smooth. Like where my nose pore area, like I don't feel it bumpy. There's no open pores. So it is actually a really good feeling. My pores are still there. They're actually pretty minimized. I'll see you beauties in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So when I upload, you guys will know. And go ahead and follow me on my other youtube channel well it's in the same channel well anyway my other channel that it's life with jules juliet it's gonna be my vlog channel i hope you beauties enjoy and have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next video